Hello everyone and welcome back. Dorsey 3 Smart Telescope is the first telescope that I know of capable of capturing also the Milky Way using its wide field lens. Before we start talking more about the DOS3 and the accessories needed, first I think we need to talk about safety. Safety first. Why I'm saying this? Because if you go in a remote location far away from home, maybe you don't know the dark side that uh, you'll image the Milky Way, it's best to have some extra protection. For example, I took with me this bat. If you go in some place that you don't know, it could be dangerous. A bed like this can give you some extra protection. Also, if they are dangerous animals, then a bear spray will help. For example, now in uh, Transylvania, there are a lot of bears and there were bear attacks. This one is just a foot and uh, shoe spray, so it's not a bear spray, but you understand what I mean. A uh, bear spray will help in this situation. If possible, go to an area that you know is safe. Also, it helps to not go alone. And if possible, avoid going alone in this dark side location. Because in this place that I went to capture the Milky Way, at close to 1 a.m. in the morning, somebody was patrolling in that area with a huge lantern. And when I went outside to check, I also heard shootings. I think there were some hunting going out there, so were gunshots. That's why I think safety first and try to find a secure, uh, safe location to Milky Way, if that is possible. Now let's continue with the DOS3 Smart Telescope. First, you need to make sure that DOS3 is charged 100% before going in any dark location. Also, an extra measure is to get an uh, external power bank in case you want to image more all night, more than five hours. This will help you get the extra juice you need for the door 3. On my test, the battery lasted between four and five hours, maximum six, uh, and six hours when I did charge it a little in the car with a phone charger. Also, it's good to check if you have enough space on the internal memory card, so you'll be sure you can capture all the images you want. Now, after you have the door 3 ready and it's charged, very important is to have also at least a small tripod like this. This will work with the door 3 in alt azimuth mode. This is a Dove 2 tripod. So basically, you'll just go and you'll be able to start in minutes. If you want to image with the door 3 in equatorial mode and we'll focus more on the equatorial mode in this video, then this tripod I don't think will be enough because it barely can handle the weight once you incline it. Uh, from here, it will have problem holding the weight of the door 3 Smart Telescope. So I suggest for equatorial mode, get a more solid tripod than this tripod that was meant for the door 2 Telescope. Also, a very important item that you should not forget, a headlamp. In case you have a headlamp like this, this is a LED Lancer, will have also LED light, so I just press the, I just press like this the button long and I'll have LED light that will not affect the night vision. And this is essential to have when you go on dark sky location. However, if you don't have a LED lenser like this, you should go at least have a normal um, flashlight with you. Now, where is the best place to capture the Milky Way is in a dark sky locations like border 3 or less rural area so if you are in light pollution city it's best to use a phone and use a dark sky map to check where is the closest area with darker sky to be able to get the best results with the door 3. after you've checked everything and you are ready to go also, don't forget to charge your phone. You'll need also the phone to operate the door 3 or a tablet. Then you are ready to go imaging the Milky Way. And let's see how I captured the Milky Way using the door 3 Smart Telescope. And decided to go uh, in Borta Sky 3 rural area near Bobulna Monument. You can see here in the pictures behind me. It's a very nice place, high altitude, about 700 meters. So I decided to go here first. And here we have the door 
outside here close to Boburna monument and we'll try to capture the Milky Way in these windy conditions I place it on a tripod let's turn the camera we go astro mode and calibration confirm and you will start calibrating M16 press ok first image and now it will stack so we might have some trails because of the strong wind and yeah which would be nice to be able to zoom in however if i'll stack the images on the computer i can remove the ones with trails and get a good star shape in the final stack yeah another strong wind i can hit it from the car yeah very strong finish the plan and because uh, it got cloudy and the wind is too strong we'll try I will go somewhere else and see if I'll be able to do more as a photography with the dwarf from there. So uh, stay tuned and don't miss the next part of the video. So I went with this trip, I took my father along. He wanted also to see the Milky Way <laughs> on the dwarf sea. Buona sera. Country se pare, cala lacte. Grandios. And in equatorial mode, we need to point the dwarf three towards Polaris. This means you'll have to find Polaris in the night sky. You can use an app from your phone like a Polar Finder or Polar Aligner Pro. That also has a compass and daytime alignment. Uh, and doing so, you'll also have to incline it, something like this, in an angle, in order to be able to have Polaris here in the white field lens and telephoto lens of the Dwarf 3. For this you have a uh, special feature on the Dwarf Lab app that was not ready when I started imaging. It's called the EQ mode. When I made this test, I didn't have this feature. I already knew how to align directly on the tripod by using the Dwarf telephoto lens and uh, also the phone to get Polaris in center, but this was more of a rough alignment. So I just took my Star Adventure 2 i equatorial mount and tripod and I used it for the equatorial wedge and polar finder scope to be able to get a fast alignment to Polaris and accurate for this test. The EQ mode, it will give you some indications on how to place the tripod to uh, have Polaris in the field of view. And then Dwarf 3 will image the night nice sky with a telephoto lens. It will plate solve, find its position and it will uh, give you then uh, also directions if you are not uh, pointing towards Polaris to correct the position of Dwarf 3 and fine-tune the polar alignment. We'll begin testing now the Dwarf 3 in equatorial mode. Now let's connect. We are now connected to the Dwarf 3 and we'll capture the Milky Way from a dark, from a dark sky location board Dwarf 3. We'll go select Astro mode. First, we we'll go here settings, tell and select about one second. Let's go focus. Let's do autofocus. Let's see calibration. We we'll start calibration, confirm, and it will move. It's moving. It's doing first calibration, second, and third. We'll go now Atlas and let's find the target. Find the target here so we can capture also the lower part. So I think maybe a good will be M16. Let's go M16 first, manual go to, start go to. Let's hope no wind. Last time I had wind, cloud was, was terrible. Last time, this week that I went, was very hard. Okay, so it's tracking. Now let's go here white gain 
take a few exposures like this gain in 120 and try again okay very good it's is very nice okay i think this is okay we'll stop stack of three we'll go 60 seconds and begin uh, we have wind this might affect also the stack Now I had some questions, can you capture the Milky Way and landscapes with the DOS 3? I just made a short test at the beginning of the beta testing. On my test I managed to get a short stack for a couple of minutes. After that the landscape and the trees started to get blurry. So the DOS 3 is basically rotating and is following the movement of the stars. So this means when it will stack normally it will blur the background. I will give you more information soon when I will have clear sky and I will be able to test this better. However, if you want to capture also the landscape, then I suggest placing first the dust in uh, altazimuth mode like this and capture a short stack for the foreground and landscape trees and the longer stack for the Milky Way. You can also capture a longer stack with the landscape also but it will be blurry in the live stack then you can combine these stacks after in different software or you can use the single images in software like sequator with options like freeze ground so this is a simple way to use the images captured with the dos 3 to have some amazing nightscapes with the milky way basically on my first test i had uh, a lot of wind and if you do have wind then I advise you to go shorter exposures, not 60 seconds, if you have strong wind, because you'll have trails in most of the images. In this situation, you might want to go 10 or 15 seconds and gain 60. If you don't have strong wind and only some wind uh, from time to time, then you can go longer exposures, like 60 seconds, gain 40 to maximize dynamic range and get better images. And this should give you very good images with the Milky Way. This test will be done directly without any filters. At the moment of this video, there are no adapters, 3D printed or any other adapters available to place any filters on top of the white fill lens. If you will attach a light pollution filter here on, on the white fill lens, you'll be able to get more nebula color and the details visible on your images. And if you are interested in buying the Dorsey Smart Telescope, affiliate links are available in the video description. Also for the LED Lancer headlamp, that I think is an indispensable item for astrophotography. Without one of these, it's very hard and very annoying to do astrophotography, especially if you want also to stay more time outside and don't want your night vision to be affected by white light. Hope I didn't forget anything. Don't miss the next videos. If you enjoyed watching, don't forget to like, subscribe. I want to give a big thanks again to all the channel members. It makes a big difference and helps the channel a lot by subscribing and supporting the channel. If you want to support also the channel, you can check also the channel membership, join and get also amazing perks like getting access to master photography data and also door 3 data that I made also now available. Hope I see you also in the next videos and until next time, clear sky.